Can I help you? I believe there was someone who uh, once lived here. Okay. Named Kerwin. Why is that your business? I knew him. We were in prison together. Oh, my God. Are you Daniel? I am. Yes, I, I am Daniel. Mama. Mama, it's, it's Kerwin's friend. Who? Daniel. Daniel? The, the white man, the, the one who got out. Lord, have mercy. Daniel, look at you right here at my door. You by yourself, Daniel? I am. Oh, that's good. That's good, isn't it? It is good. Can I hug you, Daniel? alive, here, living and breathing. Hello, Stefan. How you doing? The great between ourselves was like a intercom of sorts. A whole lot of conversations, I bet. He liked to keep the dialogue going. Oh, yeah, that was current, all right. I can still hear him sometimes. I heard that. Oh, Kerwin carried on about you. Daniel this and Daniel that. He could lift you up. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Kerwin grew up so much in there. Uh, yes, he did. In that awful place. He became a man. A decent man, too. He was that. So how were things for you now, Daniel? It's been a bit of an adjustment, but uh, things are looking up. Hey, your mama must be beside herself. It was a big shock for her at first, but uh, she's, she's cautiously optimistic. Well, mama's got to hold some things back with y'all, you know. Yes. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> we're your mother to death. Mm. Kerwin wanted me to come and see you when I got out. Is that right? He said, not if, but when, Daniel. I had faith, did he? Oh, yes, ma'am. And once he got something in his head... I... Oh, no, that's right. He was that way even as a little old thing. Mm -hmm. First, you got to stop in at Mr. Gill's grocery store oh. and get yourself an orange soda. <laughs> Corwin loved anything orange. Now, oh, yeah. The color, the taste, even the word. He used to call it orange when uh. he was young. <laughs> <laughs> then he'd say, you got to go across the street to Mama's house, and she's going to squeeze the air right out of you, too. <laughs> to get ready. Oh, he wasn't lying there, Daniel. Well, who hugs without squeezing? Not you, Mama. Oh, push that far. You know. <laughs> He'd say it so often and with such conviction that uh, sometimes I could actually see myself walking here, right to your door. And then you did, Daniel. Just like my baby said. Yes, but, but most of the time, I never, ever thought I'd really get out. You know, I never knew anybody got off death row, you know, alive. No. Your mom must be so happy. Hug you whenever she wants. Oh, come on, mom, don't, don't, I just. I know. I just can't help thinking about my baby. Mama Daniel's not like Kerwin. Okay, he didn't do nothing. No, I guess he did. Yes, he didn't. 
I'm sorry, I, I have a, um, I have a bus to catch. Um, you head home? Thank you. Uh, yes, it's heading home. Oh, please don't, don't rush off. Mrs. Whitman. Yes, Daniel. Thank you for, um, well, for Kerwin. He was a good person. And he was my friend. I miss him every day. Thanks for coming by, Daniel. I wasn't sure I should. Hey, good luck. Thank you. 